Hi, Taurus. This is for Taurus Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Personally, I think the moon sign resonates the best, but you watch what you want. Um, this is also if you're spying on a Taurus. So this is your singles reading for the month of April, and it's going to look at what your month looks like in general, what you think you want versus what you actually need, because sometimes those don't align. Um, how other people are perceiving you, the best course of action to get what you want, and then also how this Mercury retrograde until April 15th is going to be affecting you in your love life. Let's get started. Taurus, what does your month look like in general in regards to love if you're a single Taurus? Anything is possible. But here's the deal. You have to maintain like this optimism, and a lot of you are, um, even though you can't see what's coming, even though you're not sure that it's going to be fulfilling, right? He has no face. He's got no belly. But he's moving ahead anyway, right? He's just got this like blind faith and trust that the universe is going to bring him what he wants. He's getting out there. He's not being a hermit. He's not, you know, like staying in and kind of shutting himself off from the world. And this is a big change. Big positive changes are coming. And in correlation to the Mercury retrograde, even though we haven't gotten to that question yet, it's like old things die so that new, better things can come in their place. And that's exactly what retrogrades are about. It causes us to reevaluate, to reassess, to revisit, review things from the past that maybe, okay, you know what? I got to get rid of this. I got to get rid of this. I got to get rid of this. It's like a big cleaning house. You're wiping out all this old stuff, creating a big open space for new things to come through. And like I said, you know, you don't know what those things are going to be exactly, but they're going to be awesome. <laughs> this card says it's going to be awesome. This card says it's going to be awesome. So go out there and find it. Good. Okay. So what is it that you want or that you think you want? And it's like you want somebody who spoils you a little bit. Um, so maybe some of you have gifts as your love language. Maybe some of you don't. But you want to have like enough time for you. You want to be pampered. Maybe you want somebody else to pamper you a little bit. And you want to actively pursue this. You want somebody who's like attentive, okay? But what is it that you actually need? And what you actually need is that big change. You actually need to clean house. You need to get rid of things, energies, people, situations, circumstances, hurts from the past so that new amazing experiences can come through. And they say, have that faith. You know, it's so crazy that you have these cards over and over. Like the probability statistically is very, very small that that would happen. So you have to have this blind faith. You have to just trust that whatever's coming is going to be amazing, even if it's coming out of nowhere and you can't understand or see it because you've gone through some bad luck. You've been a little bit unhappy, but awesome things are truly coming. Okay, so how are other people perceiving you? Well, they're perceiving you as hopeful, okay? They're perceiving you as knowing what you want and being very lucky and um, sort of like assured that it's coming through. So you're probably vibrating exactly the right vibrational energy that you need to draw in a soulmate. Um, they're saying that you're being very direct. You're being super communicative and you seem very passionate. Um, you're very much embracing this sort of energy that's kind of like sexy. It's not necessarily slutty. It's slightly slutty if I'm being honest. But it's really, really exciting for other people. Now... Um, what's the best course of action for you to get what you want? Before we get to that, they said there's two challenges here with how other people are perceiving you. Um, the challenge is, okay, what's fair to you versus what's fair to them and striking that balance, okay? Especially because, so I'm not, I ain't saying she a gold digger, right? But um, when we have those cards, it's like, oh, I want to be pampered. Make sure you, the challenge is going to be that you're not, um, sort of like being a predator preying on people who are, you know, very giving. And I'm not saying that about you because some of you are on the opposite side of the coin. Some of you are going to potentially put yourself in situations with other people where you give too much, right? And you're not getting back an even distribution of energy, time, love, attention, communication, that sort of a thing. So this is going to be a challenge, like, um, 
discerning what's fair in a relationship and what isn't. Another challenge is um, to feel very strong, like in your communication with other people, especially because it's a Mercury retrograde where communications ha- mis- communication chasms happen, where there's a lot of miscommunications, a lot of misunderstandings and that sort of thing. So um, that's going to be a challenge for sure. I would make sure that like I'm reading my text messages before I send them off. Double checking for embarrassing Siri fails, spelling errors, that sort of thing. I'm making sure I'm sending the text to the right person even. (laughs) Okay, so the best course of action to get what you want. Definitely don't stay in. Don't be a recluse. you got to get out there and find what it is that you want. They're saying don't overthink any feelings that you're having. Just go with the flow. That's another thing. Um, And then imagine yourself as though you're already coupled and how does that feel? Okay, Um, don't view yourself necessarily like as a single person and kind of feel sad about it. Imagine how you would feel if you already had the perfect partner with you because it helps you to draw that in. So how will this Mercury retrograde be affecting you in the month of April? Um, So really it's going to give you some good ideas in regards to other aspects of your life like with your home with your work um business you know finances things like that all those earth energies um your possessions things you want to buy it doesn't say actually go out and do those things but it gives you a really good idea of what you should do when the mercury retrograde ends um it also makes very clear to you the types of people that you're meeting are they wanting the same thing that I do in the longer term or not. And you're going to be able to assess and determine that like immediately. And if they don't want the same things that you do, you can cut them out immediately. It says that um, how it's going to affect you is it's going to create this energy that makes it very easy for you to go out and find what it is that you want. You're going to have more options available to you in regards to potential love matches and partners. And on top of that, Um, especially if you're traveling, you might fall in love, you know, while you're on a trip. So that's kind of cool and exciting. So I wanted to give you some affirmations or something, um, to kind of help you get through this month when the energies get a little bit challenging and it's all in regards to time as a theme. Okay. So they want you to remember when you rush, you get stressed. Um, and that stress promotes a lack of understanding and painful emotions. So when they were talking about, you know what, like your feelings and stuff, like, yeah, your feelings are important, but don't overfeel things this month. Be aware when you're overreacting a little bit, when you're taking things a tad too extreme, especially when communication is fucked up, right? Um, Hold on to each moment as it comes recognize it and then let it pass away. So you might want to do some breathing exercises. Okay. Like you have an emotion that's not comfortable. You take a deep breath, count to five and then let it go. And then if it comes back, it might be something you want to address a little bit further, but if it doesn't, then it's just gone and it's not something you're carrying around, um, potentially creating a problem moving forward. Um, and then take, take time to kind of live mindfully in this month. Um, because it's going to help you feel more calm and help you to better empathize and understand where other people are coming from. Because it does sound like communication chasms are very, very possible for you in um, potential relationships that you would be having with other people this month. So best of luck in your love life and see you soon for general readings. Thanks so much for watching this video and getting all the way to the end of it. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in other videos, click here. If you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20-minute video uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!